Hey guys, welcome to Coach Kimmy Herapist. Do you want to be a herapist? Listen, they need hair and they need emotional, right? It's two, two on one. So I have another channel too that I'm going to start going and it's going to be called Coach Kimmy Mindset because I do believe mindset is just as important as beauty on the outside that you need the beauty on the inside, right? You need confidence for that beauty. You need so many things that come from within. But anyway, this is my lovely Amy. We did her the last time, if you guys remember. And what are we gonna do? The most important thing that you can do is have a great consultation with your client. Right now, we've been going, doing her hair um, two times, right, Amy? Mm -hmm. Okay, so this will be our third time. Now, you really wanna always still ask them a consultation, even though I have like, 80% of people that like the same thing all the time because people love their comfort zone, but you want to always make sure just in case that somebody has the opportunity to maybe try something different or give them something outside of the box to say, hey, now Amy lives next to me. So, you know, we communicate. She gave me her vision board of her Pinterest, which was so good because then I get to create and think, what is the pattern that I want to use for Amy's hair? But I want to show you what she wants. So why don't you show everybody what you're looking to do and what, what made you want to do this too, Aim? Um, and you could show the... Well, I like I liked everything else that you did with my hair and I was thinking of different ways to kind of like incorporate a different cut as opposed to like a different dye to kind of like mix it up a little bit. So here's my Pinterest board. So look, she has like really cool stuff on there. Now it was good for me to see the different haircuts, the different kind of highlights she wants when you lift them up. And then I ask her, okay, pick the top three. Because everybody could have quite a few and they could be similar, but still very different. So you always wanna know, okay, which three did you love the most? She liked this bang. You know, there's certain bangs she liked. And then you gotta think about their lifestyle. What's their lifestyle like? Now I want you to show me the bang that you really love the most. That I really like the most. Okay, like this one. Okay, so this is the one that we're gonna create. See all the? It's like the butterfly haircut, similar to the Jacqueline Smith haircut, similar to the wolf haircut. They're just different ways of saying them, and there's different flips that you could do when you blow dry it. So it's all layered, and you want to do that. You want to do that? Mm -hmm. And then what about the highlights? What are you thinking about with the highlights? Uh, for the highlights. Probably just touch up this, like maybe you make it like a little wider to okay. kind of go with like the like direction the of feather. the thing and then fix the like underneath highlights I have. Okay, that's awesome. So we already did her, so I already know the pattern that I did, right? So I want to show you, this is a great little tool that you can get that kind of gives you a quick outline of like you imprinting a pattern. You need a blueprint. I love having a blueprint for a haircut. I remember that when I got coached by somebody, they told me like, Kimmy, you don't have a blueprint. And I couldn't really understand exactly what that meant, but as time went on, I really understood. Because you wanna be able to think before you do, wh what am I doing here, right? So because this is her forehead, this is what I did here. I know that I did um, a highlight, a highlight, a slice, and then a little weave. Okay, now, and then what did I do on the side right here? Okay, I know that I did it also right here. Straight slice, slice, and then a weave. And then I did it actually, that's like kind of right over here. Like sometimes with this cowlick, you want to still get these hairs, right? So you see that I, I have it here. But look how much it's grown out. So we want to get it here too. I'm not sure if I want to have a, blue, a, a brown piece in front. Now this is the other thing. Amy is a little fair skinned, right? So you want to think, does the blonde right in front of her face wash her out? Or does it, does it make it pop more, right? You want to really think of that. Like I feel like her skin tone, probably a little brown piece first and then a nice chunk of blonde might be even nicer in a different way. Or we do this blonde right here, but then this one, we do a brown piece in the front and then a blonde. So that this way it just has a little more dimension and softness around her skin tone. Cause you gotta think of the color of their skin and what looks better. So you're always thinking about what you're gonna do. So remember, make your blueprint of what you want. And I know for sure I'm gonna go underneath her hair too. Let me show you right at her hairline. 
and I'm going to take them this way. I like to take two slices and then right in front of it, I'm going to do a little tiny one. Same thing here, right behind here, two slices, and then I'm going to take one, two, three. And then I'll do just right here. And I'm not going to really do a slice here. I'll do like a one, two, three, and then a one, two, three, back to back, one, two, three. So it all looks really, I want to say systematic or uh, like even. So blueprint, guys, I cannot say it enough. Get a blueprint in your brain when you're gonna do anybody's haircut. Now I know the blueprint for her butterfly haircut. And so you guys tell me, if you've been watching my videos, what would be the blueprint for that butterfly haircut? If you know the answer, I want you to put it below. I'm not gonna tell you until the very end, and I wanna see who was right. And I'll give you a free download of something cool and something fun. So, um, yeah, I can't wait for you to tell me what the pattern is, although you're gonna see it. But I wanna see when you make the comment, the timing of this video and the time that you did that comment. Then I'll know if you know what pattern am I gonna use for that butterfly haircut or for that Jacqueline Smith haircut. All right, so that's the pattern I'm gonna use. I'm not gonna tell you yet. Um, so first, she's already clean and washed and she already did her um, flat iron. So. I do not have to wash it. Otherwise, you're always, always gonna wash somebody's hair first if they have products in it, right? You need to clean that hair because the hair will take so much better. So now, let's get started. What are we gonna use? That's your next step. Have the great consultation. I know what she wants. I wanna look at the integrity of the hair, right? I know already because I've done her hair that her hair takes very easily. So that means she has People have between seven and 13 layers of cuticle and hair, all right? We, she probably has about eight or nine because it's very easy to lift. So I don't need to take a real long time or a real high volume to make her lift. So that's the other thing to think about. You always want the hair in the best integrity. That is your goal and your purpose for anybody's hair. I did a video yesterday on um, oh, a great highlight. It took me a year. But I'm gonna tell you, we got her to such an exceptional blonde, but everything good takes time. If they have thicker cuticle, you're gonna have a journey with them. Amy, I was able to do right away and get her super light and super blonde, what she wanted. So let's get started. And I'm gonna show you in the back what we're gonna use and why we're gonna use it. All right, so I wanna teach you a few lessons about lightener. So Tuto is like lifts up the quickest and very fast. I love this, love this, love this, but I don't always like the way it mixes because it just gets dry really quick. So this is my insurance. And if you guys watched my video yesterday, I didn't tell you what it was, but you guys know if you watch my videos, I love castor oil. I just put it in all my formulas. I put it in my lightener so the hair stays in the best integrity. This is great for hair, eyebrows, skin. I put it on my face at nighttime. Love this stuff. It's like a miracle worker. It's like magic somehow. Um, so, Tuto, now Amy's hair is easier to take, so I don't need Tuto, but I could have a dash of Tuto in there. This is my all time favorite. Super easy to mix, it mixes absolutely beautiful and simple. And then love free lights because it has a clay lightener in there, so it makes it even smoother. So this is good to balayage with, but I like to use it also on a foil. So I wanna show you, I use, I mix them together. I make my perfect formula with different lighteners. And you know, it doesn't matter, just so you know. And I just want a dash of this one, just to give it a little kick, a little extra kick. And I'm gonna do on Amy like a lucky 13. And now I'm gonna use 30. Now listen, could I use 20? I could. I'm not coloring her hair. I wanna save time for her and for me. So 30 is great because I also use my insurance, right? My uh, good castor oil. And where she's blonde already, I have conditioner. Okay, because I wanna just touch a little bit of the blonde with the conditioner so that it doesn't overlap. You have to really make sure when you do blonde highlights and you, people wanna be really light blonde, you need to make sure if you did their hair before, you do a little conditioner right at that spot so you're not breaking that hair off. Super important. Always keep the hair in the best integrity. Okay, so now we're gonna use 30. I'm gonna show you. And peroxide is peroxide. It doesn't matter what company, what, there's just different things in them. Of course you want ones that have like the better stuff in them. 
But again, I'm using, oh, I'm using the um, insurance. I'm gonna have to turn that. Can you see it? Me mixing it? I love this consistency. It's gonna be so nice. Getting smooth, it's easy and pliable, but it's not drippy. See, you need it not to be drippy, and you know why? What's the answer to that? If it's drippy and it drips, it can literally go in the foil and bleed. It's called bleeding. Like if you put this at the root and it could swell if it's too um, liquidy, it'll just slide right down onto the hair and it'll give a cheetah spot. So we don't want cheetah spots, but look how like pliable and creamy that is. I love that. All right, guys, now I'm gonna put my insurance in there. Just a little, you don't need a ton. And then mix it even a little bit more. Oh, so smooth. Great. Yeah, that is really a perfect, I'm just gonna do just a tiny, tiny bit more. Okay, good. And you just kind of like cake batter, you just kind of like whip it in there. Nice and smooth, there you go. That is really a great consistency. All right, let's go highlight that hair. You ready to see the pattern? All right, now listen, this is my favorite brush. It goes right through the hair. I sell these like no, there's no tomorrow. So I don't know if I could get this company to be able to put on my link so you can get it easily, but this is the best brush ever. Listen, it really just goes through that hair and I'm gonna start in the back. Always start at the bottom. Start, get it underneath. And then you can go through that hair so easily and effortlessly. Nice, nice, nice. And you always look for your old pattern. Like I know already what I did before, the blueprint on her. So I'm gonna show you the back. I like to start the back first because if by any chance you need this to sit longer, the front, like if you get the back, the back will be done first and then you could rinse her out. You put her back in the sink and you can rinse this out. And not that you can't use 40 for that front, I can, but I'm not going to because I really just wanna use the 30. Um, so when this will take sooner and then we can, let it sit longer for that front to take as good as the back. So super important to know. Now I'm gonna take out her ear and then the other side. Always right behind that ear because this is where we're gonna have this up right here. Okay, so I want you to see this angle. Okay, now I want you to use your imagination and see where that's gonna land, right? So you're gonna know that when this comes forward, you're gonna see it right there. Okay, but now we're just doing it up top. We did this the last time. Maybe I'll make it a little chunkier, but you always go by like how you had the last time. So I wanna show you what that's gonna look like. So I like to take like two slices right here, one. Okay, that will be in, in one. I'm gonna make this a little thicker than it was the last time. And then another slice right here. Now these will kind of be like peekaboo highlights. This is gonna be like a nice chunk that will land here. And this one, I'm just gonna do a little piece, like a one, two, three. But I like the brown here. You know, she has those two little blonde pieces. I'm just gonna do it and change it up a little bit. So that'll be fine for it to stay there. This one's gonna be a three piece. And then these two are gonna be like slices. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. So if you wanna look at what I did the last time, look at where the highlight is. I did it a lot less because it was our first time doing it. We didn't wanna do a ton. I did this piece and then look at how much I did here. All right, I barely did anything there, so I just did two. Now I'm just gonna do a little bit more. All right, maybe I'm not gonna go quite that thick. All right, but now I'm gonna do it right here. Just do a nice diagonal line. Okay, right there. That'll be a nice, beautiful, thing. and look at where it lands. It's gonna kind of land here, right? You really wanna see, use your imagination where it's gonna go. And I like, even when I do a half a head of highlight on people, I always love to do the back. Now listen, I'm gonna sweep this up. I'm gonna bolly as I, just so it's not a straight line.
and just make sure you look. Is there any blonde in there? I see just a little smidgen of blonde right here. Take that out. Don't go over that blonde. Do the extra work, you know? Give more than people pay you for. Be the expert. Teach them like that you care about their hair. Yes, and you're gonna keep it in the best integrity possible. And just make sure you're really pushing through so you get all of that highlight. And now I'm gonna fold it over. Now I'm gonna do another piece. I'm gonna do a three part actually, cause I don't want it super big. Cause I, I realized now that I did a little less the last time. So now I just wanna do a little bit more. Okay, now that's my three chunk piece. Now I wanna show you something real quick after I put this on. Now look at too, you know I'm coming up to that blonde. So I want a little bit insurance for that blonde. It's right there. I'm gonna take the conditioner that I put and I'm gonna put it on that piece of blonde. And now I'm gonna touch this. Okay, now get that out of the way. You don't need that to be in the light now. And you could roll it up that way too. There's different ways that you could roll up that foil. All right, now I'm gonna get these two pieces out of the way because these are gonna be dark. And now I'm gonna go back and try to find those pieces that I did blonde so it's a bigger chunk right there. I'm gonna get one right at the top. One, two, three. I'm gonna show you what that looks like, right? Here we go, one, two, three. This is excellent, this is a foil pattern. I am gonna do a course on my foiling patterns to teach you how to do any highlights and give people what they want. So just so you know, this is the three piece right here. Sometimes I'll take a slice and then I'll add one of these pieces with it, but you're always guaranteed to know the blueprint. That's why it's important to learn this system. And I put that foil close. Put it back there. Now, I need that conditioner because I don't want to touch that blonde. Okay, but this piece needs it right here. This is brown. That's brown. That's brown, good. And right here too. I want that little piece right there. Okay, fold this over. Beautiful, now that's three and I might do one more. This way it's like real, a real nice piece that you can really see. I'm gonna go one, two, three. Now listen, if you forget what you did on the side, just look at this one. Look at what the pattern is. 
okay, I did a slice on that, see? Like, listen, it's easy because you're thinking about other things sometimes and you're not thinking, so. All right, I'm gonna do one slice and then I'll do the, um, because I looked at it, so that was a good thing. But you wouldn't really notice so much just because, you know, highlights will, you know, uh, they're, they're forgiving. It doesn't have to be exactly even, but you wanna try to get as even as you can. And this one on the other one too, I did sweep up just because when you're doing a bigger piece like that, I like it more natural looking. All right, so I'm gonna get this one out of here. Get the neat blonde out of there, do not go over the ends. I'd rather do this than anybody just try to like want to be lazy and not, you know, move the blonde out of the way. You got to move that blonde out of the way. Do not get that blonde. I'll just go right here. Okay, now I'm going to do the one, two, three. Now I do remember, I know that I ended it with the one, two, three. Um, but so the first one was the slice and then I'm doing the one, two, three, three times back to back. And I just have to make sure though I get the spot right where it's connected. Right there. I don't want to leave a spot out, but I won't overlap it either, which is great. Okay, now I got two more. One, two. I hold it too in the back. My hand is nice and strong in the back of this foil. guys while you're doing hair too just remember your mindset is definitely so important to remind yourself I am a great hairstylist I do great work right hair comes out great if you don't know those things then you need to do some affirmations you know that means you don't have enough confidence that means you didn't practice enough you really got to practice 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 because that's how you get good at anything that we do practice 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 makes progress more practice 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 makes um, you know, a pro. So that's what you want to get to. Okay, the last three right here. Practice, practice, practice. That's my favorite thing. I want you to think, uh, what would Kimmy do? Just think, practice, practice, practice. Get a mannequin head. Practice these things. See what they look like. Take pictures of it. Get Build your clientele of the things that you love to do or the things that come out really good. And then people will want you for that thing. Become that specialist at it. Okay, four. Four on this side, four on that side. And then you think, do you need something in the middle? I do want to do, remember you're seeing my pattern? I'm going to just do right here. And this is what you have to take into consideration. I did a slice here and a slice here. So that means it's like a veil, but it's diagonal. So it's not going to just go straight down. So I really want to do one, two on here. Two pieces. It'll blend perfect with that.
Like I see a little bit of blonde in there and I want to get that out. I want to go over that. Listen, it's not going to be perfect, but you definitely want to try harder than not to get it good. It's nice and coated. I'm gonna get these out of here. One, two, done. Last one, and then we'll start our front. line out right so this is what we're going to highlight and then i want to see like how much of this am i going to highlight you want to check both sides too just to make sure and i want to leave a little part in front i'm going to like leave this part out because i really want this to start being brown and i can low light this so i probably will but uh i didn't get my low light so i'm going to do this piece right here and then i'm going to skip a piece And you could just sweep it a little bit just to make it a little more soft and natural. Don't get it right to that scalp because you don't want the lightener to bleed. This is like a fresh piece. You want to make sure you're getting it all through. And you always want to like make sure. Sometimes I go back and forth to make sure I just didn't miss anything. Sometimes that hair underneath it is not done. That's why I just do it very thorough. Now I know where that's gonna fall. This piece is gonna fall this way. This piece is gonna fall this way. Now I wanna take this piece out and I'm gonna kinda take it as a piece. This is gonna be out. It's gonna go back uh, and then I'm gonna do these pieces right here. And then I'll do her little hairline chunk. Okay, I see a little tiny piece of blonde in there. I mean, it's little, but if you see it, just pull it out to the best of your ability. It really makes me annoyed and mad when I see like that people don't care and they'll just go over it. Meanwhile, they've seen it and they don't even think to like take that blonde out. You don't have to re-highlight something that's not highlighted. All right, now I wanna kind of make her a little chunky. So I'm actually gonna take this part out and now I'm gonna do another slice. Slice is just a straight piece. Slice, now look at where this is gonna fall. Actually, I could take what I had the last time and you'll see how it's gonna fall. All right, so I'm gonna take here, 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 and here. Oh, I want a little more here. Conditioner. Now, even though there's some light brown pieces in there, I'm gonna leave them. I will just bring down some of the pieces 
of like this one right here. Bring on that, touch that. And I turn my brush sideways. See how I turn it sideways? I'm not going flat on it like this. I'm turning it vertical, because I want to get some of those brown pieces, right? You can see it better when you put the conditioner on of where the blonde is and where the brown is. here but I still need to really get this brown right here so either way too you could also just do longer foils if you wanted if you didn't want to like you know have to keep pu pulling those bottom pieces up because her hair is longer than the foil so you figure it out I'm gonna do one more here and then I'm going to low light this piece. This is going to be like a straight. People don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. Let people know how thoughtful you are and how much you care. Make sure that you don't overlap stuff. Really? Put your hard, you know, think if it was your hair. That's what I do a lot. Like think of, you know, somebody working hard on your hair. How would you like that? Of course you want it. So you need to work hard on somebody else's hair by being thoughtful towards their hair. All right, now I'm gonna do her side. Just make sure everything's out of the way that you don't need. And it's diagonal, so I'm gonna do a straight slice. slice because I want this pretty strong this piece you know because it's gonna they're gonna be like peekaboo highlights I feel like the more that um, 
you know, when people get their hair done, they get more breathe and more like, okay, I want a little bit more. First time we did it, we did less, and now we're just going for it and doing a little bit more. Right, because you get braver in. Yeah. I am gonna take a low light to this, and I'm probably just gonna break it up with a low light of a 7-0 color touch, just so that it has a little bit of dimension in there. I'm gonna do a tiny bit more over here. I think I'm gonna just do another piece. Actually, I'm gonna look and see, like, I'm pretty sure I did a pretty big slice. Maybe I just wanna break it up and make it a little not quite exact slice. Okay, last but not least, we're at the finish line. how long your hair got. I feel like we didn't really need such long foils. I, I could have actually, you know, got the long foil. I realized, wow, it is so long. Yeah, straightening it probably added an extra, you know, like inch. Yeah. <laughs> it's like this piece right here. I'm gonna make sure that that's covered. Yes. It has to be very saturated, nice and saturated. And you can pull that highlight up, pull it up, and then place it down. You're always having a firm grip on those highlights, so you have control. Maybe your head is turned too much. I need you towards me. Yep, just like that. Now the conditioner that conditioner on there. Be thoughtful. And I want to ask you, so do you have certain, did you feel confident as a person? Do you feel confident just as somebody getting their hair done? Do you feel confident as a hairstylist? Like, I just want to ask you, how are you feeling? You know, or do you ever think about it? I want you to think about it. That's why I wrote a book called The Secrets of a Great Herapist. Because we need mindset stuff. We need to make sure that our mind is not a hot mess. I used to be a hot mess. 
And then I've learned how to master my own emotions. And if you ever need help, you just let me know and I'd like to help you master your emotions. Amy, which side do you wear your hair over to, too? This way, right? Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna leave that out, but I'm gonna do one behind it because I do wanna make this brown. You wanna look how much I left out here. That'd be perfect amount. But because her hair comes over the side, it's gonna be thicker, so I'm gonna do one more behind it. Okay, like just a nice slice behind it. I like right a chronic about. side part. Yeah, you do, right? Chronic side part, I like that. <laughs> Chronic side part, you gotta think about that because it already goes that way, so you need to make sure that you do a little extra on this side because it's gonna go this way. But there's only three here because she has a little bit less uh, in this hairline over here, so you need to take another one to match it. You're always thinking how to match it, how to make it balanced. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm not into perfection, I'm into balance. Wow, that was good to the last drop. That was perfect. I had to do two bowls because she has a lot of root. And we did some new pieces from this ground up, so that's why you do use less if we did her hair sooner, but we do it every three months. And you know, take somebody on a hair journey. Let them know, like, listen, every three months, we'll be, you know, you'll need to do that regrowth again. If they like to do it sooner, they can, but she's a college kid and you know, she doesn't, she, she lets her hair grow out and it looks beautiful as it's growing out as well. All right, so now we're gonna let it set. And you guys are all set, so stay tuned. Right, so I wanna teach you how to check the, the blonde to make sure you're getting the right color blonde. She's looking pretty good, right? Looking really good. Okay, that still has a little bit of yellow. You're looking for the inside of the banana. That's just a little too yellow, but I could take some of these out. This was the first one. Still a little yellow in there. All right, you can kind of see that. I want a little bit blonder, but this one was kind of done. This one looks pretty done. Well, maybe like five more minutes, but it's important to get that blonde right. Really important, because if you don't get that blonde right, doesn't look good, we will, we will tone it. All right, that's looking good. So she's close, like five more minutes and we should be good. All right, let's go five more. How mm -hmm. nice that blonde is. And she does want a toner, so I am gonna tone it just to make it even nicer. Probably don't even have to. I like to run it through just all the ends real quick. Looks great. Now we're gonna take her top out too. Look at this top looks. Oh, so pretty. So beautiful. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Gotta really get that blonde the right color. And then we know what I did? I did a little light in the front of her hair.
I'm gonna keep that low light in until like the very end. And that's a brown. All right, so I'm gonna take all of this and come back. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use 10-0. Her hair came out beautiful. I don't really need a toner, but I wanna close the cuticle up too. And a 10-0 is neutral. I love using neutrals because I feel like if I put a toner, and I want you to think of something, if there's a yellow piece of paper and you put blue, a blue tone on that, what color does it turn? Green, turns green. Do not use a dark blue turner. If it's a nice yellow piece of paper, you could use purple, violet, but because her hair is so perfect right now, I just want neutral. I don't want any tone to pull in it because sometimes if you get it light and then you put purple on it, it could turn a little cast of purple. So if it's yellow piece of paper, then you can. So think of the inside of the banana or the outside of the banana. You really are always aiming for, for a blonde like mine or a blonde like Amy, the inside of the banana. It's a beautiful, creamy kind of white color, right, with a little bit of yellow in there. The outside of the banana is full yellow, so you really want to make sure that, um, you know, you use violet for sure to counteract that yellow and it would make it a beige blonde. It's like makes it perfect neutral. So that's the goal. So remember, 10 volume and I'll use 6 volume, double the peroxide and I'll probably use about an ounce and then, well actually about 0.50 and then an ounce of the 6 developer and just put on for 5 minutes and then we're golden. So it's one of my favorite products for hair that you want to just really like tame it but you want to put some nice beach curls in there. Wow, that, this is awesome. Um, you could get this on my online store, moderntechniques.com. It's going to be on there. And it's by Daviness. And it's called Nourishing Keratin Sealer. So I'm going to put some in her hair. And I'm going to make sure that we um, brush it all the way through. And you know my favorite, favorite brush. Brush right through right through okay so you, and you gotta get the glasses on perfect all right now we're gonna start all right guys so i asked you what pattern am i gonna use the beach ball pattern the beach ball pattern okay so we want to see first so amy where is your party zach i know it kind of goes right hold on let me uh so even when they part it, like I'm gonna let her naturally find it. Okay, good. Yep, you got it. Yeah, it's right there. They can find their part easier than you can. So the only thing that I'm gonna do different though is I really wanna get like her pieces where we're gonna do those pieces. Isn't that cool with that little brown piece in the front? I love that. It looks so cool looking. Totally, totally happy with this. We're going to start right about here. So I'm going to take this front piece. I'm going to move it over this direction and then it's going to feather back that way. And then I'm gonna take this top piece here. 
I'm gonna pull this and grab a piece of that, little piece here, and I'm gonna go down here too. And this will look great. I will probably put it a tiny bit more in an angle, just a tiny. So it just flips back better. And you could always check it too by even going like this and just doing a little bit more. Okay, see that little piece? So this way it will feather back. And the same thing here. You grab this front and you feather it. You see, look how nice that line is right there. Good. And it's gonna feather back beautifully. All right, now I'm gonna angle around her face. We're gonna come down. That butterfly haircut is definitely all angled around her face, but she keeps her length. go up here too as long as you see that nice beautiful angle I need to uncross your legs I always have somebody when they're sitting to not have their legs crossed I'm gonna get that little bit off I'm gonna turn, tilt her head now I'm gonna put all this hair in front so I'm getting like that nice guide and Amy you want your length right hum mm -hmm. And now I'm gonna look at how beautiful this beautiful angle comes and cascades down right here I could do it a little bit more see that right there I can come in and just get it a little bit more right there beautiful see it falling this gorgeous angle and that is all gonna feather back and I will pull this up. Show you now. I'm gonna get the other side. Now take the next section, bring it forward. Okay. Now listen. I have to put my fingers in front, and I gotta watch this. So that's where I'm, my little piece left off. Now I'm gonna come down and angle it straight down. Scissors are pointing down. I'm going to take in the next section. Next section. Now I'm going to have it turned towards me. I'm going to bring this all the way down, down, down. And I want to take, this is the end, and this is the last piece. Okay, I'm going to tilt her head. I'm going to get this, pull it all the way down. Okay, now I'm going to check it. Check, 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 check. Let's see how beautiful these angles are. Look at how beautiful. You see it? Gorgeous, gorgeous. Now we're gonna take the back and we are gonna bring it all down. I want you to be like right here. Okay. Get all that hair underneath there. Pull it all the way down, nice and gentle though. Don't pull it too hard. Okay, so I'm gonna get a nice clean line in the back. Now I'm gonna take it and go around to make sure, look at that little tiny spot I need to cut off right there. Okay, so it goes like this, straight, and then I start to go around, okay, because this is a round back. Now I'm gonna go here. Look at this angle over here. Now I'm gonna go a little further. You're gonna go around them. 
and right there. I want that piece right there. Perfect. Now her front is done and her, her angles are all good. Now I'm gonna do the beach ball pattern. Okay. So I am gonna take this piece right here. I'm gonna go up. Okay, now I see where her last one was and I'm gonna do about an inch off of that. See right there? Beautiful, beautiful. I have all her pretty curls anyway and all the angles around her face, which will do a lot. Now listen, this is the other thing. A lot of those haircuts are very jagged, so I definitely wanna put some nice texture in that haircut. Get it so it just naturally falls. Now I want a little volume in that hair too. I'm gonna nip, nip, Nip little tiny pieces. Now watch with that little, just tiny little pieces because it puts fullness in the rest of the hair. So if you have hair and you pull pieces out of it, these pieces will um, be able to be held up by the little pieces. Instead of it all just flopping because it's too heavy, you texture and you cut other pieces in there and it makes it hold up better. Okay, we're going straight down. This is section one. And if you guys don't know this haircut, go learn it. Go on my Jacqueline Smith haircut and the other, I have another one too, that I did all the beach pattern. So you pull it up. I'm gonna texturize it right on that end. All right now, we're gonna go, this is section one mohawk. Right now we're gonna go to section two and then section three. We could do both. Yeah. Well, for the notching. If I hit you, Amy, I'm sorry. <laughs> With the stand. Okay. Nice storm out there going on. Ooh. Mm. Grab it out. Get it. Get that little piece. Now I'm going to notch. You look at where it's thick. It's like a little thickness here. Just little pieces just to make it a little fuller now this is section three take it up 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 get that hair off i'm gonna notch because i really don't do it where the bend is do it after the bend just so the hair is lighter and it will have much more volume okay now i'm gonna go to the other side now we're gonna go right here. This is section two on the other side. Yeah, just a little bit and I'll get the last section. You know, the more that you do this haircut, the, the quicker you learn to master it. I could do it with my eyes blindfold. Really, I could do it with my eyes closed. Should I try it? All right, you ready? Here I go. Now I'm gonna feel the head. Her mohawk is here. Let me think right here. So I'm gonna take this section. All right, it doesn't work. <laughs> Just kidding. Amy's like, what? I was a little scared. I know. <laughs> Just have a little fun. <laughs> Look at where we're gonna notch it. It's thick here. Some little pieces. Okay. Voila. Nice, nice, nice. Now I ink her front. Okay, so listen, the beach ball, the circles in the middle, the mohawk down back. One, two, three, and then two, three. Now we're gonna be on four five and we already did her whole face frame and that would be six but you don't need to do it because it's already done her face frame is those angles which we did a lot more than uh we would do on the rest of the head okay 
and we'll see if, you know, I want to make sure that Amy is good with this cut because she's a college kid, college student, and she did really exceptionally well. I'm so proud of her. So, you know, it's like, do college kids really want to do their hair so much? They don't. So you want to always take in mind, like, before I just go cutting tons and tons of layers in her hair, I'm going to do what I think is best for her and then let her know, like, all right, if you want more, I can always do more. But when you do too much, you can't, you can't do less. So I just want you to know that. <laughs> Make sure you're thinking about their lifestyle, if they know how to even do their hair too. That's another big one. And you want it soft like that. That really makes the hair blend and do anything to it that you want. Okay, here we go. Get that right there. Look what that was. And I don't really need to texturize it there. If I was gonna texture anywhere, it'd be right here on top. So you look for the bend and you just do little tiny, tiny baby pieces. It's called notching. And then I'm just gonna check this, but really I probably won't need to touch it at all, but mm, yeah, I do. Actually right there. I didn't think I'd have to, but okay. Yeah, that'll go back really, really pretty. See all these pretty, beautiful layers? Gorgeous on her. Now I'm gonna turn her around and then I'm gonna do the other side. Right here, I pull this up and I stand behind them because then I match this side with this side, okay? Now the next part. And you just check her bangs, make sure her bangs are good, they're good. Okay, now let me show you how to check this haircut. Okay, we're gonna, you're gonna take it like a ladder. Okay, so you're gonna pull like step one, Step two, step three. So take this all with your hands, pull it all up, check this and make sure it's flowing. Okay, this side's a little bit longer and you just make it even. That's how you check it, right? So we cut it vertical and we're checking it horizontal. Now you take the next step. Step two, like a ladder. Okay, now come up. Look, 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 it's still a little longer on this side. Okay, you just make it even. Now we're gonna do the last step. Look how cool those highlights look, yay! It looks so good. Beautiful. Okay, now let's go up top, let me show you the top. Okay, right here. Good. Balance, now I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna check the, the top. Okay, we're gonna go like this. We're gonna grab that whole mohawk, both sides. It should be on an angle like this. Right here, I need that part right there. Okay, that's the way the angle's gonna be. Check, check, check. Oh, right there. Needs a little more. But see, that's why it's important to check because it makes it perfect. It makes it a perfect haircut when you check it. Okay, now I'm gonna check the other side. I'm gonna pull up one piece of the other side. Go up. Hold on, you okay?
So what do you think, Amy? I love it. It looks so good. You are so stunningly beautiful. I love it. I want you to do a spin around. Take really good pictures. And like, oh my gosh, yeah. I want you to kind of pull it up the way you'd pull it up. Like, let's turn around. Yeah, go ahead, do it like that. She's so good at her own hair, so she, she knows what she likes. Okay, this is how she'll be doing it. And then we'll get to see the back. And this was her little invention that she really loved. Look how creative she is. So cool, it looks so good. Perfect, now let's turn around one more time. Let me see the back. Oh, that looks so beautiful. Thank you so much, yay. Thank you. I had a vision for my hair and I made a little Pinterest board and I sent it to Kimmy. I said, Kimmy, this is what I want to do with my hair. And in the past, Kimmy has never let me down with a haircut, a dye, styling. So I figured that, you know, if this is what I wanted, she can make it happen. And I fully recommend to anyone in the Monmouth County area in New Jersey, come to Modern Techniques, come in, get their hair, you know, get a consultation, get their hair done, because you will not be disappointed. Hey guys, Coach Kimmy here. And so listen, you know that I love to serve and give and bless people with all the knowledge, the many, many years of experience that I've had with global artists to learn hair, to do the best hair that you could ever do to become a pro. I just wanted to highly recommend my book if you like the tips and tricks that I've been teaching you. This is really, I put a lot of my like really mishaps, the things that I did when I was younger that really taught me. I always want you to remember failing forward, right? Our failures actually become our stepping stones to go forward. And that's the best part because everybody's gonna make mistakes. You're human. You just better guarantee that you're gonna. And don't be so upset when you do. Be like, yes, I made a mistake and I'm gonna learn from it. It's a evaluated experience that we learn from it. So I just want to highly encourage you. You're going to learn a lot of great things from this book. I made it very simple, very easy to read. So it's a no brainer. And I'm going to get it on Audible. I do have my life story on Audible. Yay. I just got it done. So it should be up there in the next week or two. So if you need, if you want to do my tragic beginnings to fairytale endings, dreams really do come true because they do. Um, you could get that as well. But thank you so much for supporting me and all that I do on my YouTube channel, my TikTok channel. And I just really appreciate all your love and support and all your beautiful, amazing comments. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mwah. That's how my little granddaughter would say it. She goes, Mwah. so that's what I wanna say to you. And remember, you're a winner, you've always been a winner, and you will always be a winner. You're enough, you've always been enough, and you'll always be enough. Memorize that, imprint it into the mind, and you're gonna see your life change. I just wanted to highly recommend my book if you struggle with any of your past, if you struggle because you've been through a lot of pain as a child, and or if you struggle with addiction or codependency, I want you to know that I had all of these things in my life that I really had to work through. And I, I teach you in my book, how did I overcome such tragedy, right? Tragedy happens to us all in different ways, but I just had a lot of it. So if you need help and you need someone to walk alongside with you to help you get through this life, not alone, because, you know, we're really not alone. <clears throat> we do have each other. And most of all, of course, I have God. And so do you. All you got to do is just call out to him. He says, call out to me and I will show you great and mighty things. That's how good of a God we have. So I just want to um, encourage you, if you need a little uh, inspiration, a little support, you can get the book on Amazon. And I thank you so much for supporting me, for being there on my YouTube channel, for my books. And I also did my the Secrets of a Herapist. And I have another book in the works, so I'm super excited. You know, it takes a lot of work to write these books. You don't even realize, I remember being so annoyed and frustrated <laughs> when I went to like get a publisher for the book. I'm like, a year, it takes a whole year, but there's so much tedious work that goes inside of a book that you have no idea about. So it is a big deal. And I remember thinking, eh, it's no big deal writing a book. And then the more I, I had to do it and I had to realize how vigorous, uh, like I wanna say like exhausting it is writing a book and how many times you have to check it, how many times you gotta make sure that you have it flowing, make sure that everything matches up, even the lettering, the size of the lettering, the pages of the book, 
the font on the book, how much space you want in between. It is so many things that you don't even think about. Mm -hmm. So I'm very proud of myself. And I really thank you for those that have bought it. And I just appreciate so much, uh, you know, your love and support. And I just want you to know that I really do care. And that's why I shared my story. So if it could help you, it was worth it all. Have a wonderful, great day.